we were first going to try and get to Bal Air. And how I found Bal Air is a good story too. Outside Cabanatuan. Of course, my Filipino was not, my Tagalog was not very good back then. But from what we understood is that the NPA were active and that they were stopping buses and people from going to Bal Air. Our bus was stopped up in the mountains, up in the Sierra Vandre, the mountains. Mm. Yeah, we got stopped by the NPA. Yeah. First they came on the bus and then they, and immediately they recognized that we were American. Then they made everybody get off the bus. We all got off the bus. They were looking in the bus. They took some things and, you know, it was really kind of sketchy. Finally, this one guy, this one guy comes up and uh, he goes, hey, man, you like rock and roll? <laughs> and here's this long hair NPA guy with a machine gun. Going, hey, you like rock and roll? And we're like, yeah. we're like, yeah. <laughs> Stand there with a the machine gun. <laughs> and he's going, hey, do you have any cassette tapes? And we're like, yeah. <laughs> because, you know, so we ended up giving some cassette tapes and it's, everything's all cool. And they're like all talking to each other. Like it was pretty wild, you know. And then, yeah, you know, have a good time. Our first trip to Bal Air, man, it was it was a scene. It was a scene. We got off the bus and it was like <laughs> touching her hair and like tapping on the surfboard. And since I had long blonde curly hair back then, all these old ladies were always coming up and touching it. <laughs> and I, I was like, I asked my friend, why are they always touching my hair? And he goes, it's good luck, man. It's good luck. <laughs> you know, and the, and the chief of police came, some Irish priest came, and then the mayor came, and they're like, they're all like, hi, 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 hi. there was no Tagalog phrase book back then. There's no Tagalog English dictionary. So we had a bunch of, you know, like little cards. Our maids, you know, spoke pretty good English, and we would have all these phrases like, which way to how much for this? So we had all these little phrase cards, you know, that we would communicate with. This Irish priest was the go-between the chief of police and the mayor, and these other people who were, they, they're just questioning us. Why are you here? What are you doing here? And, uh, uh, you know, I, we're just here to go surfing. And this is not Hawaii, there's no surfing here. Let us make our decision about that, you know, and then. It was in the evening time. They're starting to drink their Ginebra and, and, and what's that rum? Uh, yeah, maybe maybe it was. And my, uh, the priest came walking by, and he just he just shook his head and he goes, "You guys are trouble. <laughs> you guys are trouble." <laughs> There was nothing on the beach. Sabang Beach, there was nothing. One little restaurant and one little place, they called it a little disco hall where they party at. And then there was like maybe three or four Nipa huts. And then it was just nothing. As far as you could see, it was just beach and just palm tree, nothing. In fact, the first surfboard that I gave, I didn't give it to Raul. I left it in Bal Air when I left, thinking I was gonna come back, put it in that one Nipa hut. There was one guy who lived there, and a typhoon came through, messed up the Nipah hut, and he rebuilt it right next to his old beat-up one. He just left the surfboard in the shade right there. One day, Raul went walking by there, going, I recognize that board. I recognize that board it's from those guys who were here surfing. He kind of became owner of it. Yeah, and that was the board, the board that was shared by all the kids, anywhere from like 8 to 10 years old, and they would all share that board. And then when I went back in 19... 84. I guess they, they had started, you know, some of the kids had started surfing. And he's the one who should get the credit for being the first surfer, without a doubt. Yeah. And I have other I have other friends who will attest to that. In fact I got I've got a picture of Raul surfing cementos in nineteen seventy six. Hey, you wanna see the picture? Yeah, I wanna see that. And there's Raul at Cementos. Wow. Sang There's Charlie.